Population census was initially planned to hold in March, but postponement of election left government with no option than to shift the dates to May this year. Information and data obtained from census assist the government to plan for its citizens, hence reasons why it has to be error-free. Uh, we are going to conduct a digital census, like you have rightly observed. What that means is that uh, we are going to limit human interference in the census process. The data will be collected using what we call the personal digital assistant, in which responses from respondents will be captured automatically into the tablet and will be transmitted for processing to, to the server and then further analysis and evaluation. And uh, the way it is done is that, uh, you know, the sources of error in sensors are manifold. It can be undercounting, overcounting, and enumeration, double or multiple enumeration. The methodology we are going to adopt, you know, will make it possible to eliminate all these sources of uh, errors. He also explained technologies deployed by the Commission to make the first digital sensors in Nigeria. We have divided the whole landmass of Nigeria into enumeration areas that can be covered by a pair of enumerators. So, and also, the, I mean, the EAD, or what we call the enumeration area, has been done in such a way that every building you know, has been captured. So on the census day, the question that will be asked is that if any house is I mean, it's not counted, it must be accounted for. So it will be possible in the tablet to the enumerators, all the houses have been listed and they must ensure that they go to all those houses. That also means that they cannot go to one household twice. The last official population census in Nigeria was conducted in 2006 and since then successive administrations could not conduct another exercise recommended after 10 years. Noel Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.